Good morning, everyone. It's almost horde night. Not much longer and we'll be facing a new horde. But for now, we're gonna take advantage of this morning to tour a unusual setting in this apocalyptic world. If you look around here, you'll see that we're in the midst of a, what might be called a medieval style, perhaps Austrian or Germanic or Saxon village. All of the architecture is done in a manner that's quite distinctively not Arizona. Yeah, definitely not Arizona. But we kind of felt fortunate that we found this. The Doc had found one in his world. Okay, that looks like mine right there. We should be safe parking here, right? I would think. Oh, right? yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so this, this looks like your quest location. Yeah, I want to get a picture of this, too. Look at that windmill All right. in that building. Yeah, good old Bob. Look at um, that. That is so cool. Trader Bob sent us here, thinking that somehow it would be to everyone's advantage for us to perhaps clear out the zombies or find some hidden documents or something. I can't right. remember what he wants can us to do Can you see the here. bouncing thing, Majiggy? I can, yes. Right. Well, come up here and let me start the quest and I'll back up and get our picture because I... I kind of okay. don't. I kind of don't want that in our thumbnail. I know I'm being a pain in the ass, but I like to not have that in a thumbnail. Actually, I probably should have put my hand down, but I didn't do that. All right. All right, Doc. Should we go on in? All right. Lead the way. Okay. I've never been here, so. Oh, there's one across the room. Mm. Hmm. I'm gonna let him come out if, if that's what he decided to come out. There he is. Oh, oh shit. What did she do? Jump from the. She must I wonder if she came from the balcony. Yeah, above us. bitch jumped up from the balcony. Oh, here comes another one. That was sneaky as all get out for a little tiny house or a hotel or whatever this is. I'm going to apply some uh, remedial medical treatment here to myself because uh, uh -oh. they were treating me rather brutally there for a moment. Yes, they were. I can see your health is down. All right. What's going on in this place? Well, sounds like they're upstairs beating on shit. Oh, yeah. Right here. They can't get to the railing. Okay. Wow, that is one low ceiling too. Mm hmm I got so, the, I got the stairs covered. Alright. Is there another stair up? I don't know. How are they getting out onto the balcony? Maybe they spawned on the balcony? Oh I well that's quite possible, but I guess I'm I'm thinking from the standpoint of the uh realism of the POI design. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, well, from the realism of the POI design, no. <laughs> uh, not really, huh? Wow, you could fall right down that hole into that fireplace and set yourself on fire. Something tells me that this medieval village was oh, not constructed under the guidelines of OSHA. Did you see the cooking pot landmine over there? I did see that, and yes. You, and you didn't tell me. Now, I almost picked it up. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm sorry. I should have brought it up. Oh, shit. You know me and my, you know me and my damn uh, obsession with cooking pots and candles. I want some candles for but, our house. Yeah, I'm not sure how... Is there a third story that we're not seeing an access to? Maybe there's a stairway. Oh, on the exterior here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that, that's, that's how. Yeah, that didn't break immersion after all, did it? Oh, there's a room up here no. with books. Did you get these books? Oh, no, I guess you wouldn't have because we haven't come up here no, yet. No, I haven't, haven't been up here yet. Buffy is looking at me like, oh, my God, please, old man. Okay, I'm going to put a book in here for you to read. Okay. There you go. 
Well, now that's intriguing that um, a medieval village would have loot that includes robotics parts. Oh, well, then we can't complain too much about the medieval people being dumb. All <laughs> right. That wasn't very nice of me, was it? Well, I don't see okay. anything else, so... No. If I ever get Parkour 5 or Buffy does, uh, I'll jump up on the roof and find out for sure. Yeah. Good old Bob, he didn't expect too much of us in this one. No, he didn't. Well, uh, yeah, it says talk to Trader. I'm going to activate your quest right quick. All right, I'll Make do the active. same if I can remember how. Um, uh, let's see, we parked out here in the road, didn't we? I mean, not a lot of mm -hmm. loot in there, but still, a nice-looking POI. Yeah, it's part of a, a large setting of similarly designed POIs. All right, you want to lead the way? Okay, I'll try. Yeah, here's a... Seems like all the streets here are designed in a way that's different entirely from the street designs in the vanilla game. That makes me think of a pillager raid house in Minecraft. Well, this is actually mine here, so it's very close. Could have just walked, I guess. It's, uh... Seems to be this structure here. All right, I am. I am here with you. All right, I'm going to activate it. Okay. And we'll, if we can find ourselves. Now we were talking the today about uh, how these custom POI. Oh, look at that water wheel over there. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. They don't have the indicator of which way to go like vanilla does. They often don't. Yeah. Um, they don't have uh, the lights or flashlights or tipped over lanterns um, to give you some indication of where. Oh, this looks like a drop down be. on your head spot, if you ask me. Yeah. I see a. Well, maybe not. That's Maybe that's not a balcony. Okay, so there's somebody sleeping right there. Oh, well, the other guys got up. I messed with their sleep cycle, and now they're upset. Look at her, look at her dancing on the table. Man, that brings back it's such great just, memories, yeah. It's instinctive for her, yeah. Yeah, that just brought back such great memories. Oh, here's a satchel. I forgot we were doing a, a satchel raid. Is that your satchel, too, over here? It was. Wow. So that's that was very easy to get completed. I I yeah, I like that. That's cool. I'm glad they did that. Uh, should we clear out the bottom first before we go upstairs? Uh, okay. Um, oh 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 oh. I, I'm just noticing a sign here above the door. E I H W A Z. A sign above the door. Okay. Mm-hmm. E not sure. I, a, he was. He was. I don't know. Somehow they've installed pipes here to give this decorative pattern above the window or above the fireplace, rather. Maybe that's the heating that's, system. Hmm. You know, you got the fireplace there, and it heats the pipes up, and you get water. Oh yeah, hot you, water. Hot water. I mean, if you're in a medieval house, don't you want hot water? Oh, this is cooling here. Probably most any house, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, that's, I like this, it's very cool. Interesting, and then these hatch uh, window closures. Yeah, yeah. Is that a cooking pot mine or a cooking pot? Cooking pot. That looks like a cooking pot. We'll know as soon as I blow us up, right? Okay. Oh, there's a basement. Should we go down first? All right, sure. Oh, this is kind of disappointing. So, oh, darn it. Oh, oh well. I just heard Ooh. somebody somewhere. Okay, I'll 
see if I can head him off at the pass. Here. All right, I'll, I'll no, just... wait, that's, that's the wrong fictional setting. I'll go ahead and loop this stuff all up while you... Okay. Well, that was it. I'm coming up. They must be outside. Must be outside, yeah. Well, this is an interesting place. Ooh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Bathtub, hot tub. Perhaps, yeah. Oh, I think we got a bunch of them outside there. Well, hey, come go. On. look here, they come to the window. They did. Well, I'm, okay. I'm standing here at the window. She was coming oh. back for more. Okay, they're not coming to the window anymore. All right. Uh, where are you at? I'm up. At the top of the stairs, um, and Edgar. I was hoping, to, yeah, Edgar, you know, Jarl of Zombendorf here. The Jarl of Zombendorf. Right. I, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. You know, if I had wood to spare, I would I would set all those campfires on sale, on fire, and then we on we fire. would. Yeah, we would get a scream of horde from hell, wouldn't we? You sure would. Wow, there's a lot to oh, this. Oh, there's a cooking pot, but I don't... You might have to look at that and tell me if that's a mine or not. It doesn't look like it to me. Nope, that's just a regular old cooking pot. No red dot. Okay. No red dot. Unless they decide to screw us one of these times and uh, turn one into a um, cooking pot mine. Where are they at? Where are they at? I don't know. I, I hear it. I hear them too, but... Uh, From the looks of the ceiling, this is the top floor, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we missed something to our... Oh, yeah, there we go. Maybe they're walking their way in. Mm. Oh, yeah, maybe. Or they... Oh, no, they're coming down from another roof area. Yeah. Okay. Then here, oh, this ceiling is quite dramatic here. That is dramatic. That's kind of like evil, evil um, darkness type stuff there, you know. Yeah. Yep, that's got that evil look to it. Now, are these perhaps nitrates? Uh, I don't know. Yes. They are they're nitrates. That's interesting. Stalagmites. Yeah, they're they're effectively stalagmites. We use this chemical in farming plots, making them and also making gunpowder and no, I, I use it personally as a type of deodorant as well because... Yeah, yeah. It works as that yeah. too. Well, Work shoot, sweat. that was pretty cool. We got two really cool ones. Yeah, oh, that's right. Well, I think I'll just go out the front door here since it's open. And go around the side here. Oh, I went around the wrong side, of course. We are here in uh, the midst of a patch of flowers and cotton. I mean, do we need I any? Think, well, we got goldenrod. We're not going to grow cotton, we decided. Okay. We were going to focus on... I got some chrysanthemums so we can, we can you know... Mm -hmm. um, let's do this tower because we got a few minutes left. Let's do this tower. Okay. I'm going to put my stuff in here. I want to see this tower. Yeah, I'll put some things away in here. 
There are a number of, within view here, of really interesting looking POIs. Yeah, even this buildings. just this small one here is cool. I mean, it makes you think kind of a lumber shack type. I love that one. Oh, that one over there with the white stucco on it and the orange roof and the mm -hmm. little church tower thing. That's really cool looking. And elsewhere I've seen a very, very substantial sized castle. Oh shit! Where, oh, you were a tryhard. That was one of the Duke's guys. He got back at me. Yeah. I didn't hmm. think he was. Is that a frogloid? Yep, that's a frogloid. Like it. Yeah, it's a dead mm -hmm. frogloid. And the legs aren't even worth deep fat frying. I like that. This one. is coal. Cool. Should I gather it? Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, I see a little mini horde over there, maybe. Oh, this is lead. Yep, we got... This might be our morning horde, Doc. Okay. All right, I got some lead and... Okay. No, dog. One more businessman, Bob, down there. You'll have to get him. I don't have the scope. Snake. Here comes a the snake. There goes a snake chicken shit. <laughs> you would have got it too if you'd have jumped in here. He was inside this thing, I bet you anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if this well has anything in it other than snakes. Nope, it's just a dried up well. Well, since I woke him up in this little lumber house here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go in it real quick and then we'll... Oh, okay, never mind. We'll go that way. We'll call this an episode. What do you think? Sure. Because it looks like we're going to be so oh, shit. It's a quick excursion here. Yeah, to... We're going to be spending a little time in this area working for Bob for a while, I think. Mm -hmm. Sneaky bastards didn't make a noise at all, Doc. Wow. I thought they were under contract. They were obligated to make a noise. I thought it was. I thought it was a union contract, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Okay, well... A little ammo pile out here. Cool. Oh, there's a forge. <laughs> oh, didn't even see it. A working forge there. That's Well, maybe, maybe we'll do the tower next time or something. we got to go turn these in real quick. Should we get on our bikes and go do that and tell everybody goodbye? Yeah. So oh, wait, wait. There's a blubber butt over here. i got to shoot blubber butt. And an angry man, blubber butt and angry man. All right, I'm going to get on my bike and quit farting around. All right, friends, thanks a lot for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to spend some time here in, uh, in the medieval village, medieval village working for Bob, I think. And we'll bring you back for some more. We really kind of want to see this. Um, I see he's over here, yeah. Look how big this is, though, guys. Look. This thing is huge. Very spread out, yeah. Very spread out, but very well. I mean, it's really got the vibe for a medieval time or renaissance or something, you know. Until you get up here to Bob, who's in a parking garage. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was telling the doctor that this is, um, I'm pretty sure this was the parking garage in my first playthrough of Where's UK where there was a guy at the top that had all of the custom cars you could build in the garage, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, Doc, you want to tell yeah, him goodbye for us? You can get a great view of that castle across the way there to the east. Yeah, but yeah, everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to go see Bob now, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye, friends. Be careful.